what's up guys? It's Omewrecker and I'm gonna be playing a game called Oxenfree today. You're probably wondering what the heck is this thing? Because right now you're just staring at this boring screen. Uh, but it is an adventure game that's got developers from other big games like The Wolf Among Us, Tales from the Borderlands, uh, The Walking Dead, even Tomb Raider and Borderlands. Uh, the, the regular Borderlands, not the Tales one, but this is supposed to be like a supernatural-ish one, uh, but it looks really interesting. So I thought I'd play it. It's been a while since we played a single-player game. I want to see if you guys are still interested in, the, in this kind of content. So we're gonna get started. I don't know really what to expect. I've tried to not spoil it. Used it used to be a military base. Well, let's, it let's, used uh, to be a ranching thing. thing. Then it was turned into an army thing. Then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little <laughs> breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. <laughs> okay. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I I'm listening. I can listening. watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little miss, I can see and hear things <laughs> This at the is same like time. based off of me because people give me shit all the time. Something, something, something cookies. Something, something, cookies or whatever. Perfect. You're right on the money. 8 p.m. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> uh, okay. No, I didn't and click. You guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school and the timing had just never worked out. So, and what does that make you to her then? A uh, second cousin? Uh, stepbrother. He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Wow, uh, you got, well, you got to be watching cool, for those bubbles. Right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush, wearing your clothes, eating your food, smelling. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like the concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. Did that mean he likes me or something? I saw a little so, pop up with my face. How do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. Oh, I can walk. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. Ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Oh, right, sit down. Uh oh. Check under your seat. Right, sit down. Make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Oh, you hit space. Uh, so how do you it's a recording. Know they always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah. I didn't go upstairs. Jonas. I didn't know I could do stuff. Like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair is falling out or anything. Here's good. Pose for the picture. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. <laughs> hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? All right. So this is how you communicate with the ghosts, from what I understand. I'm hitting shift. There's the little oh, there we go. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. Yeah. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so... To which I played, because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. Uh -huh. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> red-headed bedwetters. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Uh, 
Uh, I can't close. do anything else up here. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Undercook what? Holy crap, this game is starting off kind of kind of weird. I, I really don't know what's going on. I guess we're going to an island. I've got a radio, which supposedly, based off of the trailer I saw, that's the only thing I've seen. Smell that clean that's how you communicate. Air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah. Um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, no thanks. Uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And what? you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> okay. Uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. It's like a... No, it's... It's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Uh, no, this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill in case... Whatever. Uh, what, what do you want, Ren dude? seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, when the flag is flying, we are... funny. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Yeah, I'm sure you miss your friends. Eh, there's not much to miss, to be honest. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. <laughs> you only have so much time to select stuff. I heard you were in jail! I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well... Don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. All right, so he's denying it. What? I, what was it even it's about? Kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. It's quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it, or maybe they just had a parade. Sure, either one. Oh, there's a car. There's a car. Let's see. Uh, Anything in there? Nobody lives here, and the stores are all closed. Whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Well, there's another one right there. Statue. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's oh, one. Oh, I gotta pull up the radio. 102. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never under heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? War is hell. <laughs> yeah, my dad had a bunch of comics named that from like the 70s, but it was like literally Marines fighting with Satan or dinosaurs or something. The only submarine casualty. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Clapman. On October 28th, 1943, 
it was sunk by the Japanese sub chaser Tokusada. Oh, I can keep going. But do you want to hear the whole thing? And remains to this day the only submarine casualty in American <laughs> waters. 85 officers as well as 12 army passengers were lost. The propeller was recovered in 1962 and in 1965 erected as a monument to the heroism of the brave men and women who tragically perished. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea. Is that true? Was Park's office. Parks and facilities office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. All right. All righty then. Antiques and gifts. Damn. They close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. But I want to shop. Well, we're here. Maybe I want to buy an ornament or something. All right, up we go. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. <laughs> we are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wow, that's actually kind of... The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it... Oh, shit. So there's a big... Look at this map! This is huge! I'm just right here right now. Uh, I see a couple faces over Discovery Cliff, so I guess we're going there. It was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weird- I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Uh-oh, this looks Anyways, dangerous. The town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Improper acts? What does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us <laughs> tossed in the stockade. <laughs> no. But maybe the fact that I brought a whole crap ton of drugs will. Oh, well, yeah, that'll do it then. Ren? <sighs> Why? I don't want to babysit you when you go on a bad trip. You're not gonna have to babysit me. Oh, boy. I've been looking boy. forward to this for a really long time, and I'm not leaving the fun part of this to chance. That's all. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. <gasps> You'll hear voices or just sounds. No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Or it's aliens. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owned some of the island or something? She's been shacked in the same spot for, like, 70 years. She's kind of what you'd call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Hmm. Man, that woman won the life lottery. <laughs> 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Maybe well, not. I don't know. Maybe I'd get bored with the same scenery, the same parrot screaming at me. Well, of course you'd get bored. You're bored here. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... Little and did birdie. this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... <sighs> Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. Thanks oh. so much it for didn't let me do me it. Out, it was guys. so quick. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. We, um... Don't normally bicker so much. Yes, normally I just agree with whatever she says. So this is unusual. Let's go to the cliffs. Is 
This game is definitely different. I was not expecting it to be like this. It just does all the talking for me. Curious, uh, if, if you guys oh, are liking uh, it, let me know there. in the comments should, right now. I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Be cool. Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, oh. guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey, it's his crash. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? <laughs> really? Yeah, I know. It's yeah, a you think he'd be a little old to need a babysitter, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, if I don't have anyone to burp me, it becomes a real issue. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um, My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's Ugh, the come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. <laughs> Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> hey, what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're <clears> going to do it. We're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yay! Yay! Awesomeness! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I'm so excited. Let's go do it. Going to the beach. I, I still don't know what the hell to expect out of this game. It's supposed to be supernatural. Ooh. But I have yet to see anything spooky. Although I don't Fire. think I'd want to be on Man's an abandoned island. Equalizer. So with what's friends. the um what's the like thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? I got a rock. killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, a we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's truth play that. Truth or slap? We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You you're a dirty hippo. Truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. <gasps> it's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first we're I'll gonna- I'll start, Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? <gasps> Clarissa, wait, wait, wait. I wanna hear his answer. Uh -huh. Oh man, you're good at this. Well, if being good means being <laughs> kind of mean about it. 
Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm-hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no, just say so. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... That's all. She's cool. She's... Oh, liar? Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! <laughs> what? Alex, come on. What are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. You can practically smell it on him. <laughs> I'll give him a I'm break. Kidding. Relax. Last I heard, he's still pining for Lindsay, his secret Canadian girlfriend. Yeah, well, I have a thing for hockey, so... Sure. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something? Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Lay it on me. Think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny. I don't know. And uh, Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. I don't know. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered. I think. <laughs> okay, you're going uh, down the line. Clarissa. Who'd you do the dirty bit? Clarissa. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. You're not going to call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. <laughs> and wait. Wait, that means you'd kill me? <laughs> Out of everyone here, your best friend. Hey, you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrea. Miss Andrea, I say. I'm not okay, into dudes, man. Down. Sorry. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Oh, we could hit up Nona's the, the one that um, he likes, right? Nona. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's uh, make it something. Do you like Ren? Oh, Jesus. Can we just stop with the whole me and Nona thing, please? Of course she doesn't. She barely likes anybody. She's like an amoeba. One day, she'll reproduce in a cloud of spores. I'd like to hear this from her. Thank you. You don't have to answer. I like Ren like a friend. Like, uh, I mean, he's he's a nice guy. You're you're a nice guy. She's lying. And uh, we goof off and, yeah, you know. Ta-da. All is right with the world. Oh, shut up. Um, he no, lied. No. She got. Up. She has to get slapped. Oh. Uh, Clarissa, if you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. She didn't ask you. A, a dolphin. dolphin. Right. Or a butterfly with like a Native American poem written above it. I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am gonna get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex. You got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, uh... Um... Is there, like, a question coming or what? <laughs> I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really what are you talking about? What is this even what does this have to do with anything? Why did your parents get a divorce? Just <clears throat> so Jonas can hear it from you Clarissa I don't really care why they got a divorce just that Alex's mom is happy now tell the but truth how, You know why Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it the end well now, you know Jonas Don't die and everything will be fine Okay, Clarissa you what? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's let's not stop like this. We should like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm going to sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. <laughs> maybe we could... And that's exactly what Nona's going to do, too. What'd she say? Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we... What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab you if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. 
Okay, we're, come on. We're going to the caves? Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. There he goes. Alex, you want to check out the caves or? Of course. Oh wait. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do no, it. we should. Boost me up. Yeah. I was gonna maybe talk to the girls, but. Let's do it. We're gonna Come jump on. up. <laughs> I'll push you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever we never talked ready. about John. Oh, what? Their date? So the cave. What's your bets on a scale of one to ten? How weird's it gonna be? Super weird. It's Ren. So definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. Go for I it. I think you should go for it. Oh, yeah? Girls want to and be romanced. feel uh, wanted, you know? We want to be romanced. We don't want to play games. Oh, all right. Although you I might need to play hard, a... hard now, to get. Who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie town. Don't Come do on, it. Ren. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean because you want to pet a fish or something. What? Jonas is going to do it too. Right? Jonas? Mikomita, Sukomita? Uh, no thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. Okay. He's going to lose his mm. mind? Delicious. <laughs> okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand Ooh. basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. All right. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. Well, guys, this is probably a good place to leave it off. Let me know if you've enjoyed watching this. Once again, this is Oxenfree. I am pretty intrigued. I've not uh, played a game like this for quite some time. The cave was kind of maybe a little bit like this in terms of dialogue and all that, but this is interesting. I want to see where this goes, and if you guys want to see where it goes, let me know in the comments. Be sure to hit that like button. Very important, guys, that you give me feedback if you want to see more of this. If so, we may play all the way through. We'll see. So uh, thanks for watching so far, and apologies. There wasn't a whole lot of time to commentate over it. But I, it was interesting. It was almost like watching a TV show or you know something. So uh, hopefully we can do more of this. So I will keep an eye out for your feedback, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.